give rise to the other indictments. And one of them, there is some talking, in which I've now seen and heard for myself. But the issue that I have with that is that the, there's no words that are audible. I don't think, either in my own listening to the CD uh, video and also to the officer's testimony in front of the grand jury, that there was any audible words. And in fact, he says that the words, the, the audio is difficult to decipher. So my contention with that is that there's a pair of uh, Massachusetts appeals court cases that deal with just that issue. Uh, Beth Commonwealth versus Wright in 2004, which is cited in my brief, uh, states, really goes to the presumption that there should be at least some audible words. There was a similar argument to mine that many of the words were unintelligible, but in that case, the court uh, hung their hat on the fact that there were some words that were intelligible, and that was enough to support a conviction. Um, later in Commonwealth versus Manzelli, um, the court 